So how do you go about calculating your GPA in college? So let's say if you got a B in chemistry, let's say a D in physics, a C in your chemistry lab, and let's say you got an A in calc and an A in gym, or let's say a, a PE class. What is your GPA for this semester? Well, the first thing you need to determine is the credit hours for each course. So let's say that the chemistry course is a three credit course. And let's say physics is the same. Let's say the lab is a one credit course. And let's say calculus is a four credit course. And for PE, we're going to say it's a two credit course. Now, the next thing you need to determine is the point system for each letter grade. In most schools, an A is worth four points. A B is worth three points. A C is worth two points, and a D is worth one point. F is not worth anything. Now, the next thing that you need to do is calculate the quality points. In order to do this, multiply the credit hours by the points for each letter grade. So three times three is nine. Now for the next row, we're going to multiply the three credit hours for the physics course times the points that we receive based on the letter grade. So three times one is three. And then repeat the process. One times two is two. Four times four is 16. Two times four is eight. Now, the next thing we have to do is calculate the total number of credit hours and the total quality points. So let's add up these numbers. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, plus 4 is 11, plus 2 is 13. So we're taking a total of 13 credit hours in this particular semester. Next, sum up these values. Find the total quality points score, or whatever you want to call it. 9 plus 3 is 12, 12 plus 2 is 14, 14 plus 16 is 30, and then plus 8, that's 38. Now, the GPA is basically going to be the quality points, or the total quality points, which is 38, divided by the total number of credit hours, which is 13. So 38 divided by 13 is 2.923. So that will be your GPA for this particular semester. Um, if you're taking these courses and if you received these grades. That's how you can calculate it. Now, let's see if you understand how to do it. So I'm going to change up everything, like the grades and the credit hours. And I want you to calculate the new GPA to make sure that you understand the process of how to do it. So let's say that the chemistry course is worth four hours or four credit hours. Physics, we're going to say is the same. We're going to say the lab is one hour, and we're going to say that calculus will be a three credit course, and PE will be, let's say, a three credit course as well. Now, let's say this particular student got an A in chemistry, a B in physics, an A in lab, let's say a B in calculus, and an A in PE. So what is the GPA for this particular student? Feel free to pause the video and uh, try this example if you want to. So first, we need to determine the points for each letter grade. An A is worth four points. And a B is worth three points. Now, let's multiply the credit hours by the points. So four times four is 16. And then we have four times three, which is 12. Next is 1 times 4, so that's going to be 4, and then 3 times 3 is 9, and finally we have 3 times 4, which is 12. Now, let's calculate the total number of credit hours. So 4 plus 4 is 8, plus 1, that's 9, plus 3 is 12, plus 3 is 15. Now let's calculate the total quality points. So 16 plus 12 plus 4 plus 9 plus 12. I got 53 points. So the GPA is going to be 53 divided by 15. 
And so the GPA is 3.53, or 3.53 repeated. So do you think this answer makes sense? Now, if a person receives straight A's, the GPA should be 4. If a person receives straight B's, the GPA should be 3. And as we could see, this particular student received a mixture of A's and B's. So we expect that their GPA should be between 3 and 4, which we do see that.